So let's have some examples of iterated integrals. Suppose I have from zero to five, uh, 12 x to the second y cubed dx. And the instruction is telling me to uh, actually yeah, go ahead and uh, perform the integration. So notice that in this particular uh, problem, actually, I only have dx. So y cubed is treated, you know, I hold it as a constant. So this is going to equal, if I were to take the integral of uh, x to the second, I would get x cubed. Now I have to divide by three and I have a 12 in here and I have a y cube in here and I do have uh, x equals zero and x equals five. That's something that you have to remember that these values are for x. So if I simplify this, I get four y cubed x cubed and that's going to be x from zero to five. And so let me go ahead and go to the next page. That's going to equal four times five cubed y cubed uh, minus four times zero cubed y cubed. And of course, that's going to give me uh, 5 cubed is 125 times 4 is 500. And so I have 500 y cubed. Okay, uh, let's try another example. Suppose we have from 0 to 1, 12 x squared y cubed dy. So notice this time I have dy, not dx. So I'm going to hold x squared as a constant. So this is going to equal, uh, here's my 12, x to the second is constant. So this is y to the fourth over four, y equals zero to y equals one. And that's going to equal three x to the second, y to the fourth from y equals zero to y equals one. And that's going to equal three x to the second, let's see, one to the fourth power minus three x to the second, zero to the power of four equals three x squared. Okay. And uh, this is it for this example. I'll do more video in a few minutes. Thanks.